Hi guys, welcome to this virtual machine. I just want to make a video specifically about SEDM. This is the major change in, well, August, September, where at this point in time, that's the date, right? Uh, it was more or less in the end of uh, August that we created a new tweak tool. And as a result, we had to make choices. It's always about making choices, Linux, right? And this is the old uh, look that we had. So we need still to update. This is the ISO that I've just reinstalled to make um, the video. So this is the ISO of mid August. So let's let him update in the back end. And what we're gonna talk about is, is SDM. At this point, at some point in time, you decide let's take an application and this application SEDM configuration was useful. It can be used to set the username for auto login or change from XFC to awesome to plasma, which desktop do you want to auto login to? And this is where everything went wrong. This is not correct. It can't have a pathway. It needs just to be XFCE. So if you save it, it's gonna save a path. Not gonna work. We reported this to the GitHub and no result, nothing changed. So we decided to say, let's not use SDM configuration application anymore. So it's not on our ISOs. And if you run our scripts, you remember the stay rolling scripts are always located in the bin folder and so much more so much more interesting stuff as well. It's gonna be in here in the stay rolling if you do scale and know what that is and etc. etc. Look at that, there's a key. So last time in the other video stay rolling, I said sudo pacman minus s arch Linux key ring. So we never saw this message because the key ring came in and Caleb was part of the key ring and voila, Pacman knows again who is who and everything is signed. We've changed the wallpaper on the demand of data, right? Uh, sometimes you need to switch, but I know wallpapers are a personal affair, right? Themes, icons, wallpapers, it's really personal. So you'll switch it again, I'm sure. And that's good, that's how it should be. So in the meantime, to recapitul recapitulate, we have a tool, the tool was not working and then we decided, okay, this is SDM thing has been there, has been useful, but just not for that one particular line there. What if, right? What if, if we're gonna create, and it was the task of um, the July, August task, learn how to program Python and GTK and all that. And here it is, lots of things have been changed. SDM is here. You want to auto login, fine. Which with, with what, right? Awesome, Plasma, uh, Cinnamon, you name it. It's gonna be in the drop down. You select it, you save it, it's done. It's saved. So we have now our own tool to set everything. And that's what this video is about. It's all about SEDM. But just, well, talking about it chronologically, then we investigated this SEDM and SEDM is part of Plasma. We go to Plasma. We say in Plasma settings, save this and this and that. What happens, Plasma takes control of the SADM configuration file and there used to be one file, and that's the main thing of the video. One file changed to two files and that's it. If you remember that, that's great because this is the folder, sadm.conf.d, empty, right? But, it will become, uh, we will use it in the future on 23 desktops. All of them will use SDM. All of them will use two files, ESDTC, SDM.conf. Sorry, let's do that again. Scroll down. And here is the file, SDM.conf. Not seeing it, here it is, All right? So there are, there is at this point in time on this old, machine, if you do a clean install from the ISO in mid-September, it will have that, right? It will have two files. It's already switched. This is if you want to keep rolling, 
and the video is also about that right the keep rolling video you'll ch find it there as well but we can't mention this enough it's important SDM is our display manager or login manager and it's now split the settings are divided over two files and the file here is not present yet okay in the meantime i suppose everything is up to date let's have a look again and do an update and see everything is fine voila everything is up to date what i haven't done is a scale so i'll do a scale as well and a copy bash as well cb all explained in the stay rolling video so i'll not repeat myself what we do as well is open a terminal here and then we'll ask a fix fix what there is a fix an, 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 an alias actually that points to a script right so aliases always stay the same but the scripts can change so fix what sdm the configuration of sdm is important it matters so if people get into trouble you tell them type fix sdm conf and that's what we're going to do and it helps you right you have internet connectivity so the, the script checks okay i can get my stuff from the internet kde settings conf does not exist aha so that's not there okay ddm config exists if this then that right what do you do Articlinux moves away from one SDM file and uses now two files. Why? Because SDM uses Plasma tells us that's the way how we'll do it in the future. The only thing we can do is follow the guys who develop SDM uses two files. Okay, we'll use two files as well. Do you want to follow the change? Then answer yes. Okay, yes it is. Then downloading both files from GitHub and saving them. Edit SDM files with two aliases, nsdm or nsdmk. So you'll see shortly that there is a KDE config there. And that's the only uh, change that we make, but it's an important change, right? So people will miss it, uh, this video, and, and give them a hand and tell them, look, it's super simple, type fix sdm config. Now, this is new. KDE settings conf. So Plasma decides that if you save something in Plasma, some of the settings are saved here. Auto login, theme, and some of the settings are saved here, the cursor. And those are the three things we probably want to change. How to auto login, with what theme, and what cursor. And all the rest, we really don't care all the rest, but it's divided over two places now. Voila, um, this has results. If you don't change anything, if you don't change anything, you will not auto login. It says here, hashtag session. Let's just scroll and have a look. So if you say, no, 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 no. Sorry, but I want to keep auto login. There are two things, right? You can edit this with sublime text. That's an editor for you help uh, about sublime text voila sublime text we tell you that there are also aliases it's set somewhere here there are the aliases so n s d sorry control c n s d d m there you are go type some th some some things in there Pipata modern eyes there is also other colors uh, colorful icons i cursors there and the one with the k which is probably more often because I want to tell him that I want me, Eric, wants to be logged in automatically into XFCE. You can do this manually. There's no need for Outlinks, tweak tools or anything like it. But hey, it's, it's fun <laughs> to have a tweak tool. So anything goes, how you do it with an editor, with a terminal or Ctrl-Alt-E, with the tweet tool it's all good for us it's possibilities it's choices it's freedom and if one fails you always have your brain to say okay i'll do it manually xfce auto login what's going to happen apply changes take a look to the left here boom session xfce user eric wow changed next time i'll log in automatically and um, that'll be fine if you need more stuff you say oh 
I actually like another SDM theme, install missing Arcolinks SDM themes, refresh the list of SDM themes, reload, gonna recheck, gonna give you a list of all the new stuff as well. Materials there. May I make a suggestion? Um, have a look if you like it or not. Pseudo Pacman minus S. Simplicity, that's the word you need to remember. Simplicity SDM theme kit. And, and tell me, how do you like this? Would you like this to be your default maybe? I don't know. Again, it's all about choices. Doesn't really matter, really. But um, apply settings. It's now simplicity. Let me think before I log out. I've told you everything there is to know. So share the knowledge fix sdm.conf, two files in the sdm.conf D and in etc sdm.conf. It's split in two, 23 desktops, all governed by the same rules, the same way of making um, while well, saving our configurations. Let's have a look at simplicity and then let's stop the video. How about this? All right, cheers.